So Dr. Sprite now does have a one game lead in this best of three. Wolfgar I, think, I think my boy Wolfgar is going to bring it back. He's going to pull out some cheesy strategy. That's what I think is about to happen here. I hope he does a proxy racks or a proxy factory. That would be very nice. That would be very interesting to see. I love when uh, you see that interesting, cheesy, early aggression type deal. I think it's a great map for it. There's a lot of open space on the bases. There's a lot of places to hide stuff. Um, multiple paths you can take to get to the other bases. I, I think some can happen here. Oh, yeah. Definitely. And my, that third that's just to the right of the m main base, like, perfect place to hide something. Yes, the natural scout path doesn't go anywhere near there, and uh, you actually have to manually go underneath if you want to scout that area. Um, great place if you want to do maybe an 11-11 and just take out that hatch first, which is what he did last game. We'll see, though. Here we go, game number two. Uh, did you want to introduce the players, or should I? How about you try it this time? All right, well, in the bottom left, we have our red tear and the red trunks, as Total Biscuit would say. <laughs> he is Wolfgar. And in the right, we have a new member of our clan, Dr. Sprite, showing us that he is truly the king of soft drinks. He went to school. He's a doctor. Let's see what happens. Yes, that should give him a lot more knowledge. Although, what is that knowledge going to be useful here? Well, I mean, he does have a PhD in soda. Uh, soda, uh, soda helps me play. Uh, I'm, I'm drinking a monster, you know, trademark right now. <laughs> E.g., if you're if you're still in the StarCraft scene and not dead, you know, big props. Oh yeah, big props. So far, I think we're gonna see a yep hatchery first out of uh, Doctor Sprite over here. Pretty standard stuff again. Uh, you know, one last game, no need to deviate, right? It's true. And ex personally, I always get that early hatchery against Terran. I mean, they have such good economy with those mules, and then you need that larva. Well, I mean, yeah, I mean, you're right. If you are trying to metagame someone, this happens to me sometimes. If I've played someone I've played before on ladder or one of our members in the clan here who knows how I play, sometimes it can be beneficial to go early pool, early gas, like 14-14. Uh, to stop an engineering block, like I did in the first game of the tournament there. That engineering block can be really devastating to Zerg. Uh, so sometimes you just need to get an early pool to prevent that. But, uh, you know, Wolfgar, he didn't even scout in any sort of fast fashion, so we'll see what happens. Though he does have two SCVs going out. I wonder if that's a mistake. It doesn't look like a mistake. Yeah, he looks like he has something fishy going on. Barracks. Oh, Maybe he's going to put another go. one down right away, oh. or is it going to put a... You know, and this is so smart, too, because our Zerg player, he's going to scout the Terran. He's going to see the barracks at the front. He's going to go, oh, you're doing exactly what you did before. No problem. I got this. Little does he know. And this, I don't think this Overlord's heading in a direction that it's going to see these barracks. I think it's going to be there. Oh, no. Please don't. Oh. Kill, pl oh, you fool. Yep, he sees it. But it looks like he's just dropping the bunker right now. He can't see that barracks yet. But if he sees a marine coming down from there... Well, and our, uh, our Zerg player already has two Zerglings though. There's only one marine. He's gonna need some micro. I don't know if this is gonna finish in time. Yeah. Run around. Oh, bringing that SCV in. Oh, uh, he, he got the bunker finished. He just needs to get something into it and not lose the SCV. This is very important. Yeah, loading one up, repair with the other. Pretty good. Oh, he just try. needs to get a marine in there. Right That's he needs to get a marine in. There we there go. We go. Can he get that bunker down in time? Oh, now Perfect. the bunker is full. There we go. Now we should pick off that overlord and repair and try to make a bunker close. Yeah, he's going to do the bunker push. This is a favorite build of mine. I like this. Oh, we should send one marine out to get that overlord. Main. Yes, he should. I think he might feel too afraid, though. There we go. Oh, nope. But now we got ten Zerglings for Dr. Sprite. Yeah, see, when you do this, you should ideally, you want your first bunker on the high ground. I mean, he could have gotten away with it in time. Uh, we'll see. 
We'll see. A mistake from either player. This can go anyway. It's hard to say. Yeah. He needs to get this uh, the metabolic boost. Still has about 70 seconds oh, left it's... on it. Oh, oh those Zerglings going to catch that SCV. And he gets a few Zerglings, but he only has one more SCV here. This isn't good. And he's mismet rallied two Marines. There are a few Banelings mixed in with these Zerglings now. Could... He's floating so much money, though. Oh. Problem, he's floating so much money. He needs to be producing. I mean, he's not even using his full production. His barracks at his main base isn't empty. It's not making anything. Yeah, and he just got himself supply block. Been using all those over uh, larva von Zerglings. I think this is looking pretty bad for Terran. If that's fine, finish. Oh, that's a lot of Zerglings. Wolfgar hasn't gotten an orbital command at home yet. He is building a second command center though, I, and finally I mean, getting some gas. I think he's feeling the pressure. Yeah, those are a lot of lings now. He could, I bet he could break out. He doesn't he even need a, to break out. He should just run right by. Oh, that's true. Run yeah. right by, hit the Terran base. He doesn't have anything at home. Yeah, he runs back. Runs by right now, catch those three SCVs rallying across Unstop. the map. Uh, this is gonna break this. Ooh. Bunkers are down. Two Banelings wasted. Yeah, that's a lot of resources right there. And now that if he doesn't decide to cancel the Marine, that barracks is going to go down. The oh, problem here uh, is he does not have Hellions. He can repair his wall, but if he just makes some Banelings outside his base, game's done. He needs to either use barracks, he needs to use his resources and make a wall of barracks around his main base entrance, or he will not survive a bust. And he needs to get Hellions as fast as possible. In yeah. fact, it's, pro it's probably too late. Those three SCVs tried to block off the path. Didn't well, play. one hero marine repels. The entire force, but this is what I'm talking about. Here comes the Banley Morph. And I think this Morphing unfortunately plays out my heroic apprentice. Oh dear. Does it sadden you a little bit? A little bit. <laughs> but it's good seeing the new member of our clan doing yeah. very great. Well, I'm very happy. And there goes the Fly Depot and the Zerglings rush in. And that's all she wrote. Good game. And that is the end of that. Two games won.